I'm not in the hospital, but somebody in the house has the flu. Yeah, we all got our flu shots, but I have to tell you a story about Mimi why she's probably the only one who needs to wear this in the house. But I, I'm going to show you what we're going to do first. Uh, today we're having uh, uh, country style ribs. And I have done this before. In fact, I even posted a video on it uh, about four years ago. And uh, so I'm going, but I, four years ago, I didn't have all these folks living up in my house. What you need, honey? Oh, I didn't have all these people living up in my house four years ago. So I need to update it, supersize. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I started last night, and I, and I oh, you should have seen that in the beginning. I think I, I, I took a video of that. Yeah, I did. When I got it out and I brined it, ain't nobody in here right now. And I brined the, uh ribs overnight they were frozen I put them in this big pan right here and they have been in there for about 20 hours so what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to rinse them off they're already thawed they've been in this water for um, a combination of all my brining um, seasonings and now I've got my skillet over here heating um, I'm going to put in some bacon grease yes some bacon grease and I'm gonna I use this because it's got so much flavor in it I don't have to add a whole lot of other stuff when I do this so the only thing I got is oh my goodness it's, it's so greasy and it makes my hands real greasy that's the only bad part about it and then I take my little knife here and cut me some off and and to keep making a hole in my bags so I'm not gonna be able to use this bag again oh well I'm not gonna worry about that okay and I had some in my thing because I was used. I made some home fries last night, and I was gonna go ahead and uh, use that grease when somebody, um, I think it was, um, my housekeeper. I think she was so um, intent on cleaning my skillet, and she knows not to wash it though. She knows about that, but she was she poured all my grease out, and I need I. So I don't. I got it startled over with my bacon grease, but it's just fine. So I got plenty. I got some more downstairs. But I'm putting about a good um, cup of grease in here, and I had some sausage grease I could have used. That's what I. That's what she poured out, but that's okay. So I got about uh, about a half a cup of um, bacon grease. All right. I put it in here and I keep it in the freezer. If I know ahead of time that I'm going to be doing something with it, sometimes I'll take it out so it softens a little bit so it's not quite so hard for me to, to get to it. Okay, put that over there. All right, next, I have my, um, oh my goodness, I can't. Okay, I wanted to put this in something, but that's okay. I have my um, meat here. That's all been brined and everything. And uh, actually what I have to do, I actually have to um, dry this off before I put it in the skillet. Because if I don't, all that water is going to be making it. It's going to be popping and spitting and everything else. So I'm going to um, go ahead and put this down on some, some towels before I put this in the stuff on the stove. And I'm going to cut them in half also. It's easier for it to cook that way too. So right now so I'm gonna put y'all on pause and I'll be right back so okay so why are you I wear this mask because Mimi had a, a motorcycle accident I used to ride a motorcycle and I had an accident about 15 years ago and I had the operation and they took out a piece of me that made it so I would stay healthy called my spleen and because I don't have a spleen I have to be very careful um, when I'm around people who are sick with colds and the flu and stuff like that because I can catch it 
and if I catch it, I can get sicker than they would, and it even takes me longer to get better. So that's why I wear this. And I try to stay away from sick people. Okay? That answer your question? Yes. Okay. All right. That answer your question? Okay. All right. Now I'm going to hit. I've got this is eight pounds of um, short ribs, and I'm still I'm still cutting, and I'm cutting them here because they're they're this long, and it's easier to maneuver with them, and they they will uh, cook faster. I can brown them more of them, and I am not sure that all of them are going to fit in my skillet. We, we shall see. I hope they do because I don't want to use that other pan. Okay. All right. And okay. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, now supposedly this is all nice and seasoned and everything. But you know what? I'm gonna season it some more because I want to make sure my stuff is seasoned very well. All that brine and stuff was for the inside. The only thing I'm not gonna put on here on the outside is I'm not going to put any um, of the uh, garlic on the outside because it, it may um, decide that it's going to burn because I got my pan really, really hot. Okay. All righty. Now, the first time I did this, I never, I didn't brine them. I put all my seasoning on them while they're right here like this. And I'm going to season them again. But I wanted to make sure they were as dry as it could be so that we don't get a lot of popping and spitting. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honey. But I put this. Hmm? But I put this. What is it? A cup. Oh, put it in the sink, honey. Right there, right there. Okay. Alright, I got my uh, Montreal steak seasoning. My oh, my go-to. I'm just going to sprinkle that all over like that. Not real heavy because I don't want to um, over season it. Remember now it's been soaking in brine all night long. All night long. Okay. And I'm turn this over like this right here. Mm-hmm. And do the other side. And as I season it, I'm going to try to get all the sides to be seasoned. I got some fat on the bottom. I'm leaving the fat right on there because that's flavor. That is flavor. You can trim it off if you want to. I leave it on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like that. Okay, we want to get some crusty brown stuff on these. That's what we want. Now, some of these pieces are a little more fat than the other ones. I'm still not, I'm not, still not trimming it off. It's just going to be that way. And, but it was, should render in the pan because um, we're going to cook it in the oven. It's like that. See, it's a little bit more fat than I would probably like, but I'm not taking it off. Okay. Now, time to put it in my skin. I got my gray big frying pan over here. Okay. It's all set. And the smoking. Let me see if I can turn this around so you can see a little bit better. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. I would put you closer, but I don't want you to get the oil in your face. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. And I love cooking in a cast iron skillet because it's, um, It doesn't uh, lose its heat when you put the stuff in. Okay. I was hoping I would have enough room in here for all of them, and I don't. My skillet is huge, but evidently it's not huge enough. Okay.
And you really don't want them to touch because you don't want the, the steam to be trapped and your, and your meat will end up steaming instead of crusting up. So, you got to use some space between them. And you want your skillet to be good and hot. Are you all going outside? Oh, uh, who knows? Okay. There we go. Nope, couldn't get everything in there. So that means that I'm going to have to use another pan to put them in the oven. I hope I can put this in the oven like that. But, not going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And just put something else in there. I have another um, iron skillet. I should go ahead and get that other one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So this should be just enough for the other iron skillet. Get them done all at the same time. I think that's what I'm going to do. So these will, these will crush a bit, but I have this on high. I'm going to leave those on untouched for about um, 10 minutes. That is not going to cook them all the way through. That's just going to get a nice brown crust on them. And I do not have these. I don't have the centers on the flame. I got that now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All nice and it's frying up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go get my other skillet and put that one right here. And I used to think that one was a big one, but it's not. It's not as big as I like to have. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm going to need another skillet for this. I'll be right back. Okay. Here's my other skillet. Put this on the uh, stove on high. Let uh, that come up and put some more um, bacon grease in it as soon as it gets hot. And I think, I think it should all fit. And if even if it doesn't um, fit loosely, once um, it all cooks, I mean, all it gets brown. I could pack it in there and then put it in the oven. I just have to make sure that um, it all has a top. Speaking of top, uh, this skillet has a top. It's a top for it. And I'm going to uh, rinse this off. Never put soap and water on. I mean, put soap on your, on your cast iron. All right. Take this, and I put this in the oven. You know what? I got to move my shelves around. Uh, I put it in the oven so that the top doesn't take any heat away while it's cooking. So I'm going to put that in there. I think that was going to go on the bottom anyhow. Yep. And then this other can go on the top. Woo. Okay. Put this up a little bit. Put that on. That's good. And now here, and the oven go on the top. Yes. Okay. <coughs> yes. Question? Can I have some other yogurt? You have what? Yogurt? You said you wanted some, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Have some yogurt. Help yourself. Okay. Put some baby juice, and of course you know your your cast iron. The more you use it, the better it gets. It gets more seasoned. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it any more In the dishwasher, did you wash your hands? You've been over here sneezing and, and cut stuff. You need to put some. Put uh, wash your hands before you open that dishwasher. Go in the large bathroom, not the small one. That's for journey. What we did was a quarantine one bathroom. Thank God for more than one bathroom. Anyway, we had to go in the outhouse. And we did not have an outhouse. I was just saying. But, uh, because I, I got her in a, she's in a father's room. And, uh, and I had to put her in there so that, um, Hopefully, nobody else gets it. 
That's what I'm hoping. But you know what? I don't know. We'll see. If it works. It will be glorious. It will be glorious if I don't get this sick. I've had the flu twice in my life. I don't ever want it again. And that was way before they had flu shots. And before I knew before to take them. I don't know which, which came first. Okay. Got that in there. Whew. I'm not going to need that much. I'm not going to need this much. Okay, I'm going to take this one out. I don't, I don't think I'm going to need this much. Mm -hmm. Put that back in here. Show it next time. Okay. Man, why is it popping and spitting like that? Okay, I'm going to start turning over my, uh, you're not going to really see my, my country wheels and it's a shame to you over here. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven. Let that get good hot. In time. Let that get good hot. I do have a bigger skillet, but it doesn't have a top for it. So I have to use this one. Okay. Ooh. I don't know, y'all hear it popping and spitting and stuff. I know you want to see this. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I'm going to show it to you. I got two pieces that didn't go in. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. You see? Mm -hmm. This is the one I just did. I only got four in there. I should have two more pieces to go. And then this is big one right here. Like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. I've got nine, ten pieces in this one. And I can only get four pieces in this one. So that's the difference for the skillet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yum, yum. Mm-mm. -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, and I still got two more pieces over there that haven't gone in yet. I'm going to put them in. Right. Yes, yes, yes. That looks really, really good. Okay. And what I'm doing now is I just look at, take a look at, oh, yes. Remember, brown is flavor. Brown is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness, yes. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm not concerned about that red right there because I'm not cooking them to done anyhow. I'm cooking them to the point where they are just brown. Like that. Mm-hmm. And like that. Yeah. And like this. Let me change pieces with something. Okay. And this one right here is only going about five minutes. Don't do what I just doing right here. Oh, it's so brown. Oh, it's so brown. Oh, yeah. Okay. You see, this is a little skillet. So I guess it's probably more efficient than the big one is. Let me see what I got on this. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Let's see what this one is. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Get those cooked right there. And yeah. Yeah. Well, see what what one goes. They go out and tell the other one. I got some yogurt. I got some this. Mm hmm. And all of a sudden, everybody wants one. You wash your hands? Yeah. When? Okay. Well, I might have room for those two pieces right there. And what I'm going to do is I change places. That's nice and brown. See that? So what I need to do is take this one over here who's not browning hardly at all. And put that one over here. Okay. And that one's brown. This one, not so much either. So I'm going to take this one that is brown and really good. Put that over there. And put this one right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good spot right here too. Okay. See this? See you see? I'm gonna hold on. See that? No brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it so it sits on the edge like that. Get some brown on all the edges. And it does take a little bit more time, but it's worth it. It really is worth it. So I'm gonna use this fat one. See this right here? Turn it on the, on the edge, so get some brown on it. Like that. Just pop it up against somebody. Blue on me. There you go. Okay. Okay, let's see if we got over here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See that? Okay, I got them ready. They're getting ready to go in the oven. The only thing I have to do now is check my temperature. 350. They're going to go in the oven for about an hour. Hour and a half to come on kind of thick. First thing I gotta do is put the tops on everybody and then put them in the oven. First thing one I gotta Okay, do. they're in there and I still hear them sizzling. And that's what we got. Whew. Okay, we're gonna leave them in there for um, 60 minutes. Put my timer on there. Put my timer on. I say uh, 60 minutes. Okay. All right, they're gone. Let's start. Yes. Okay. There we go. One hour. So I'll we'll see you back in one hour. And get ready to do um, one of the sides we're gonna have. Now we're gonna have potato salad, already store bought. I use this one right here, and um, it's really good. You know, just right out the thing. But normally I add extra mayo to it and um, ranch dressing and relish. And chopped onions. I'm not doing that today because really the kids don't care. They, they, this will be gone. This is one meal right here. And it's supposed to be, how many servings are supposed to be on here? This is supposed to be um, 16 servings. Psh, child, please. That thing be, been gone. Okay. I have a uh, cabbage in here that I froze um, earlier this month. I don't know. Uh, what day it was. Anyway, I froze this cabbage. It has not been cooked. It has not been blanched. And you really don't have to unless you're going to uh, keep it for a long time. I also have um, some chicken base. And I'm going to use um, a heaping tablespoon of chicken base. Actually, two of them. Because I have my water over there. And um, once I use my, um, get, get my water boiling. My water's boiling. I have about... Um, Two cups, two, two and a half cups of water in there. And I'm going to put in my chicken base. My ch and I, ordinarily, I would just use some chicken broth. But um, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the chicken base here. And this is going to come to a boil. And while that's coming to a boil... And I'm going to add one more. So I add two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Yeah. 
The other one was a heaping one, so I got two tape, two, two, two to three tablespoons. Depends how ch how how much flavoring you like. Okay, then I'm also going to add in. Now, normally I would also add in some um, bacon grease or something like that, but I really don't have to because this is going to be flavorful enough just like that. And uh, and the meat it's got enough fat in it. I don't need to add no more to to this. Okay, got that like that. Then I'm going to add in. Uh, just about a half a teaspoon of uh, red pepper flakes. And yes, just to spice it up a little bit. I don't even think that's spiced up enough, but that's good. Okay. Next, still waiting for this to come to a boil. And uh, well, I actually didn't have to. I'm just going to put my cabbage in there now. I'm going to go ahead and um, take this out of here and then dump this right into the pot. Mm -hmm. It's frozen solid. So it's going to take a minute or two to, to just um, break up. But uh, and, my, and my top will not go on here until this comes apart. So I have to break it up a little bit. And I don't normally, when I do this, I don't normally thaw it first. And let's go ahead and put it here like this. Yeah. And I think my top might go in there. Okay, I'm going to put the top on that and come back in about um, five minutes. Hopefully by then I can break it up some more. Okay, I was able to break this up. Um... So that once the water comes to a boil, it won't take long, and dinner will be ready. For my the men of the family who are both diabetic and high blood pressure and everything else that goes with it, um, I'm making them, this is what I'm making them. Um, does it look like rice? It's cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower. And so that's what I'm making them today. And um, they have cabbage and then I'll have the cauliflower. I'll put a little butter and um, pepper on it for them and that's what they're having along with because we're having um, the rest of them, the kids are having potato salad. So I'll be back once dinner is ready. Okay time's up and we got the beeping going on. I'm going to turn off my timer and let's see Skillet number one. Let's see how this one did. My oven is still on, by the way. Just in case, I gotta make sure that. See how it turned out. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. All right. Ooh, it is so tender. Mm-hmm. Really, really tender. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay, let me see. All right. Oh, that looks delicious. And you know I got to taste this. Mm-hmm. Because I got to make sure it's okay. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. Difference because it got all into it. Then I might use a little too much salt in it. It's really good, but we're not. I'm not adding salt to anything else, so it'll be fine. But don't add any more salt to me. This is delicious. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, take it out. Mm-hmm. And. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.